It's a girl's day plus Everett. He's our plus one. He's our plus one. Ella's in her room. Ella's getting over having a little cold, which is a stinker on vacation. And the boys headed out at the boys minus one. We watched Daddy and Oprah set sail. I know we were telling a couple more years, buddy, not with you. But the boys are out trying to catch dinner for tonight, and they're gonna be out on the boat today. So we're gonna hang out. At That's his way of saying all done. Are you all done? We're gonna hang out around the house. John and I went on a date day yesterday, insert pictures, and we realized we don't really, the, the area we're in is really busy. It's people-y out there, man. You say hi? How can you not wanna hang out here, you know? We've went swimming pretty much several times a day since we've been here, and Ella's starting to feel better, so it's gonna be a good day. We decided that we wanna live together. We do. We know we can live together. And as you guys get old, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. As, as my parents get older, <laughs> very far in the future, I, it just makes sense. No, Ella can help. And yeah. Help, and we can help with that. <laughs> this one can get big enough to cut the grass. It's just so special having our kids be able to <laughs> to be around their grandparents every day. We just love that. That's how people were designed. That's how we were designed to live. Like a village, right? right? In this country, it's just not culturally acceptable. But it, should be. it should be. We did well when we lived together before. And this, we learned, is the perfect setup. Family, crazy wing, Donegal wing, family vibe. With a canal for the boat. Well, and that's Pop's only thing is it's got to be on the water. This, I mean, well, there's no point in us building a house or getting a house if it's not on the water because this is like a big. For him, this isn't any of us, but particularly for your father, this is a dream come true to be able to walk out yeah. to the boat. Him and John just and went out just there this morning. After, yeah, you guys have work. worked so hard. And they just went out there this morning and cruised, cruised away. But first, coffee. We did a little Starbucks trip this morning, the four of us. I know, Dada's gone. Oh, Dada. My son has a stem. <laughs> Everett has a stem with the wire. I'm not even kidding, it's a stem because every time he does it, he goes while he's doing it. So we got him that and it seems to kind of ease his. Which is fine, we do stem. We stem up in this house. I am gonna get myself a little bit together because I look crazy. And you know, I never knew that word until. Stim until yeah. L? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then you think about it, everybody does. I asked everybody what theirs were in the comment section, and everybody had one. Everybody. You mean people with and without? Um, yeah. I mean, I think it's just normal human behavior to like have pen clicking or mm -hmm. fingernail biting, whatever it is. What would you say? My ear picky. Is it the croissant dance? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yay! <laughs> I have somebody a little behind me. Let's go make our bed. Coffee's kicking in. You wanna hear something funny? Hold on. Anytime I've ever stayed at the Moss's house, Ella got into my gum, I knew she would. Hello man, excuse me. Anytime I stay at Priscilla and Asa's, especially in the old house, no, anytime I stay there, um, Isaiah, I always stay in Isaiah's room. Anytime I sleep in Isaiah's bed, if he ever like walked in his room like after I woke up in the morning to like go get clothes, he'd come downstairs and be like, it looks like you wrestled an alligator when you slept. This is why John and I don't share bed all the time, guys. Like this is how I sleep, it's very violent. <laughs> It just is. Fun fact. You didn't ask for that, but so I tell you. Everett. Do you guys hear? 
you guys hear him flipping? interrupting uh, this vacation vlog to tell you that if you're not sleeping on a Helix mattress, you're not getting the greatest sleep of your life. I'd like to thank Helix for sponsoring today's video. As we all know, I went on vacation for 10 days and I slept in a mattress that wasn't mine. So cue the commentary where I tell you that there is no mattress in the world quite like my Helix mattress. If you guys aren't sure what Helix mattress is, it is a mattress that is delivered straight to your door. You go online, you take the sleep quiz, and it is really in depth, and it'll go over what kind of sleeper you are, what kind of feel you prefer, and it will match you with the mattress that is best suited for you. Me being a plus size person, me and John were both matched with the Helix Plus mattress. I cannot say enough good things about the Helix Plus. It is one of those mattresses that is just like, it's perfect. I, I know that's a, like a strong word, but if you own one, and a lot of you already do, you already know what I'm talking about. It is the perfect mattress, and it's, we're so hard on furniture, and we've had our mattress for over two years now, and it is held up beautifully. They also have accessories, like bed accessories that I love. Their sheets are incredible. I can't tell you how good it felt to come home from vacation and crawl into my bed and just melt into it it is like it is just by far one of the greatest purchases of all time they also now offer financing options so a great night's sleep is just a little click away and you can sleep on your mattress for up to 100 nights for free and if you don't like it you can send it back for free that's amazing how can you not love that like you can try it out and if you don't love it you can send it back but i can almost guarantee you that you will absolutely love it I can really almost guarantee you that you will absolutely love it. If you guys want to check out Helix for yourself, you can go to helixsleep.com slash Lauren Brazy and take the sleep quiz and get up to $200 off of your mattress plus two free pillows. Everything that I have received from Helix has been top notch, top quality. You cannot beat the quality of these mattresses. Make sure you guys take that sleep quiz. That'll make sure that you get the mattress that is best for you. And you're welcome. <laughs> now back to the vacation vlog. She's making a vlog. Textures and flavors and yeah. <gasps> yeah, that's a jam. Funny commercials. He's one. watching random stuff. Where are the mini random swirls? Stuff? The fun witches. <laughs> <laughs> funny <laughs> commercials? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> what, did, what is it a commercial? The funny thing's about it's a Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh, the funny it's... thing's about it's a Pillsbury Doughboy. He does, but it's actually the blue bunny. <laughs> oh, bunny tracks? Wait, I hear him moving them. Just playing good. Just playing good? That's just what, playing good. What does that mean? What What does it mean? Just playing good. That looks What's like... that noise? Do you hear the doves? What kind of doves are they? Morning ones. Morning doves. Do you hear the morning doves? They're cooing. They are cooing. Mm -hmm. And I've been seeing seagulls too. What are the morning doves? Look, they inflate their chest. They're, yes, they do. Oh, I see a butterfly over there. What kind of butterfly I is it? I don't know. He's kind of... A monarch. Is it a monarch? Oh, see him? He's orange and black. What do the caterpillars do? Well, they turn into butterflies. He's... Is that what you're doing? La he... vaca... What language is that, honey? It's in Spanish. Do you know Spanish? I do now. You do now. Wow, this is a landscape. Let me see. Well, it was a beautiful landscape. It was a beautiful landscape. Yeah. Show the people. It, it was by Red Bee Productions. Oh, Red Bee Productions. It was animation from... From who? It was by Red Bee Productions. That's a beautiful one. Oh my god, mom's here. Mom's here. She pink. Did? Hot yeah. pink. A block of bird slide. Can I tell you what I saw out here this morning? A whole bunch of fish. I think like a dolphin or something chased a pod of fish or whatever you call it, <laughs> what call it flock of fish. <laughs> was that a dolphin noise? That was good. Yeah. Dolphin.
we are home, baby. Yeah, so that's all the footage I got on our 10 day vacation. Let me just give you a synopsis. The last footage you saw of Ella filming her vlog was the day before she got sick. The next morning, and she had a hard moment. We'll call, we call those, we call meltdowns moments because it literally is a moment. Even if it takes like an hour, it's a moment. But she had a moment um, that day that was kind of out of character for her and then the next morning she woke up sick as a dog. So she was sick for four days and then in true having two children fashion, Ev got sick and he was sick for like three or four days. And then we like left, so. But we honestly had like the best time ever just going out on the boat and fishing off the dock and using that pool. Like we swam a, like literally four times a day. All we did was wear bathing suits that entire trip. It was amazing and the quality time and listening to stories from my parents through their childhood and my kids getting to experience their grandparents like that was so incredibly special. Cause in our day to day life, we really don't see my parents that much. We use their pool in their backyard a lot because obviously it's right down the road. And, and so we see them sometimes, but they're usually working or traveling, doing life because we all have life going on. And we came back and immediately jumped into, I'm working with Glitzy Girls again, which by the way, they're having a 70% off sale right now. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. I've been working with them again and we're getting a spirit night together. I'm on the foundation board I'm on the foundation board for Ella's school so we're having a spirit night next week and like jumping back into life preparing for back to school and all of those things so this is literally a week later that I'm sitting down we, we did a lot of talking on this vacation like our long 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 term goal um, would ultimately to be like have a huge compound and live with my parents someday I know that's like super I don't even know what the word is taboo maybe that's the right word but I think it's super special to like that it's just a really fun idea. I who knows who knows if it'll ever happen with just life and the way things work out. But I think our everybody's end goal, especially with L and Ev, especially L, because we can't plan too far in advance for Ev. Yeah, we have no idea what his future looks like. We have no idea what Ella's future looks like. But it would be really nice to have like a large area or compound or house um, where she could have her own independence. But still like it just would work out really well if you know what i'm saying like we're all planning the future of like what the future looks like and how we want it to look and combining resources wrap our little family in love and i think that's like what everybody's trying to do i'm hopeful for the future i'm super proud of l she did things on this trip that like were totally out of her comfort zone. She like was picked up on bird watching. She's now a professional bird watcher. She's really good at it. She like knows different birds just by their noises. But now we're back to real life. So that means you guys are gonna be getting school supply haul. Like it's, cr it's chaotic. So we're back home. We're back to normal-ish preparing for the school year. Big hugs to all my parents out there. Make sure down in the comment section, you guys tell me something good that's happened to you this summer. And I'm gonna pick a couple of you down in the comment section to send Amazon gift cards to, to maybe help offset the cost of school supplies because I know school supplies are bonkers. Ella, you're in your Bucky shirt again. John, it's Saturday currently, the day that you're watching this. John is at your new school, Ella. He's helping, they moved to a bigger building, so he's helping move furniture today. So Ev is down for a nap, Ella and I are chilling, and it's of course raining outside because I feel like that's like the theme of our trip. It also rained every single day on vacation. That's what we're experiencing today. So we're gonna just hang out in our jams. And I have laundry, I have laundry folded right behind me. There's a stray veggie straw on top of that towel don't know why time for back to school grind guys we'll see you uh in a couple days